Icardi Syndrome, Wikipedia article audio. Icardi Syndrome is a rare genetic malformation syndrome characterized by the partial or complete absence of a key structure in the brain called the corpus callosum, the presence of retinal abnormalities, and seizures in the form of infantile spasms. Icardi syndrome is theorized to be caused by a defect on the X chromosome as it has thus far only been observed in girls or in boys with Klinefelter syndrome. Confirmation of this theory awaits the discovery of a causative gene. Symptoms typically appear before a baby reaches about 5 months of age. Children are most commonly identified with Icardi syndrome before the age of 5 months. A significant number of girls are products of normal births and seem to be developing normally until around the age of 3 months, when they begin to have infantile spasms. The onset of infantile spasms at this age is due to closure of the final neural synapses in the brain, a stage of normal brain development. A number of tumors have been reported in association with Icardi syndrome. Choroid plexus papilloma, medulloblastoma, gastric hyperplastic polyps, rectal polyps, soft palate benign teratoma, hepatoblastoma, parapharyngeal embryonal cell cancer, limb angiosarcoma, and scalp lipoma. Signs and Symptoms Genetics Almost all reported cases of Icardi syndrome have been in girls. The few boys that have been identified with Icardi syndrome have proved to have 47 chromosomes including an XXY sex chromosome complement, a condition called Klinefelter syndrome. All cases of Icardi syndrome are thought to be due to new mutations. No person with Icardi syndrome is known to have transmitted the X-linked gene responsible for the syndrome to the next generation. Icardi syndrome is typically characterized by the following triad of features, however, one of the classic features being missing does not preclude a diagnosis of Icardi syndrome, if other supporting features are present. Other types of defects of the brain such as microcephaly, polymicrogyria, porencephalic cysts, and enlarged cerebral ventricles due to hydrocephalus are also common in Icardi syndrome. Treatment of Icardi syndrome primarily involves management of seizures and early-slash-continuing intervention programs for developmental delays. Diagnosis Additional comorbidities and complications sometimes seen with Icardi syndrome include porencephalic cysts and hydrocephalus, and gastrointestinal problems. Treatment for porencephalic cysts and slash or hydrocephalus is often via a shunt or endoscopic fenestration of the cysts, though some require no treatment. Placement of a feeding tube fundoplication, and surgeries to correct hernias or other gastrointestinal structural problems are sometimes used to treat gastrointestinal issues. The prognosis varies widely from case to case, depending on the severity of the symptoms. However, almost all people reported with Icardi syndrome to date have experienced developmental delay of a significant degree typically resulting in mild to moderate to profound intellectual disability. The age range of the individuals reported with Icardi syndrome is from birth to the mid-40s. There is no cure for this syndrome. Treatment Worldwide prevalence of Icardi syndrome is estimated at several thousand, with approximately 900 cases reported in the United States. This disorder was first recognized as a distinct syndrome in 1965 by Jean Icardi, a French pediatric neurologist and epileptologist. Prognosis Epidemiology History 
Gene Reviews slash NCBI slash NIH slash UW Entry on Icardi Syndrome, OMIM Entries on Icardi Syndrome.